Right, I keep moving backwards because you. I think you keep moving forwards, and I hope you're in frame. But tell everybody what tomorrow is, Parsnip. Is it your birthday? Is it your birthday? What age are you gonna be? You're gonna be eleven, aren't you? Yeah. So what are we doing for your birthday? We're making you a berry birthday cake. Yeah. So let's go and make one. So these are the ingredients we're using. So we've got some, got some eggs. We've got some honey, which is like the equivalent of sugar, because. Sugar is bad for doggies. We have got some strawberries, and I think there's some blueberries back there somewhere. Then we've got coconut oil, which I'm just guessing is the equivalent of like vanilla essence. And then we've got coconut flour. I have never used coconut flour in anything, and the last cake I made for the dogs for Stark's birthday was wholemeal flour. So. I'm going to try a bit of this, because everything that's in this, humans can eat too, so I'm interested to see what coconut flour tastes like. And we've also got um, natural yoghurt as well, which will help sweeten things up. And I think that's everything. Blueberries, berries, I said berries. And some berries. So we're putting in three tablespoons of the coconut oil. We're going to have to, like, stick it in. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna have to stick it in the microwave to melt it because it's like solid because we've never worked with this kind of stuff before. And adding to the coconut oil we have, oh, two eggs, but this one's not breaking. There we go. I always get the fear I'll get shell in it. I don't think the dogs will mind. Yeah, but I'm eating it so I'll <laughs> mind. Oh. Did I get any shell? Is it all good? Oh good. Oh good, right. Uh, we will I dispose of the dirty shell. I'll take it. Please don't touch my camera after your peel. Salmonella fingers! Second egg. Oh, that's definitely going to be shell on this bit. I hope not. No? No? I'm all good? Keep, keep the, the yolk in as well. The yolk's in, is it? Uh, not at all, it's not. There. Mm -mm. Is that enough? We're adding, I think it's two tablespoons of honey. Mum's doing this bit because I'm... I'm not very good with the whole, like when it's things on a spoon. If anyone's watching this and they're like keen bakers and there's like little devices out there um, that are exact measurements or they've got any tricks for like, Cups. yeah, measuring things out. Like then, these. Oh, do we have that? Yes. One cup. Oh. A quarter of a cup. But that's a cup. Uh -huh. But what if you wanted a spoonful? How does that work? Okay, you could feel it, I'm sure. Right, now you're going to whisk what's in here. Alright, okay, cool. We're now whisked away. I'm adding the... It's a cup and a half of coconut flour, so I'm adding the cup just now. I, just, I want to feel it. It feels like flour. Oh, we should have served this. There's wee, there's wee lumpy bits in it. But oh well. It didn't say to serve it. It's a dog's cake. I'm going to be eating it! <laughs> Right, I want to smell it. Oh, smells nice. It smells like coconut. Maybe I'm just tripping. Oh, plop. Right. Just stick that in there. Oh, where's my, my whisk? Oh, I'll put it here. Right. Definitely smells like coconut. So we've got half a cup of blueberries in here. And we added some more coconut oil because we're not, we're not sure about the texture. The con, yeah, the consistency. Mm -hmm. It's very crumbly, and we don't know if it's supposed to be really crumbly. But you know the, I don't know. So I'm just mixing in the blue. I can tell you, it smells fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um, just mixing in the blueberries. Um. I kind of feel as if this was my cake, I'd put you, you just did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the blueberries felt a bit mean, so I just added some. Yeah, oh, oh it's raining blueberries, hallelujah. Maybe when they burst, it'll give them moisture. Aye, maybe, maybe. Wait, wait, give one to Parsnip just now and see if she likes it. Okay, Parsnip. Give her a blueberry. I hope you like it. Mm, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. She's licking. She might like. She might not be able to taste it if it's mixed in with the cake. Yeah. 
Maybe Try it. This is going in your cake. Here comes Stark. Stark, have a blueberry. Look, there's a blueberry. Does he eat it? Mm, nope. <laughs> oh, maybe. He doesn't know what to do with it. Look, here it's see it. And flew it. Oh, oh, oh. He's away with it. Well, he's away with it. Good boy. Hey, Meg, let's hope we don't find us. And it's now in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. And yes, we, we, we you can. And we did find a, a, a spat out blueberry at the top oh. of the hall. But I'm really hoping because it's mixed in with stuff that, that they'll eat it. I, I'm almost certain that they will. It's out of the oven, so it needs to cool before we put the natural yogurt and the strawberries on top. But you can't deny it smells fantastic. And there's a few wee cheeky blueberries sticking their noses out. But when I said that to my dad, I said, you can't deny it, it smells amazing. He's like, but it's for the dogs. I repeat, there's nothing in this that humans can't eat either. You've seen everything that's went in it. It's not as if we've, we've stuck random bits of meat or dog biscuits in there. It's completely edible. So I'm definitely eating a bit. No judging. So I'm now just um, dolloping the natural yogurt on and then I just kind of take the back of my spoon and um, what do you call this movement? Circle it around with the back of my spoon just to kind of evenly spread it as much as I can and I'll go back in for more. Sorry mum, is there something you'd like to say? <laughs> You're taking the topping off the cake, just put more yogurt in. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> I'm not on Master Chef. You're making all the noises. Yes, just put the yogurt in. I am. I'm evenly dispersing it. It's just stuck in the middle. If you keep doing that, you're going to have no cake left. Keep, no, just throw it in. Do you think that's enough? I think that's no, enough. you've hardly covered it. I feel like I. Do you know what I do that with my toast? I, I put the tail on my toast and I think I'll put hundreds of the tail on it and then I go to eat it and I'm like, I can't taste the tail. <laughs> Did you just dump that on? Aye. Do you know? There you go. Oh, yuck. Mm -hmm. I should have got started to do that. On it, because let me tell you. That yogurt was rank. It was just sour as my mum's like a zero percent fat, and I'm like, that's probably why. And then um, we've just put some strawberries in the top, so we're not um, we're not giving it to the dogs tonight because um, it's too late at night. So the next clip you'll see is adorable puppy birthdays. Okay, guys, this is the cake. The next day, I'm just going over here to get a knife to cut some to give to the poochies <laughs> get a decent knife my mickey mouse knife <coughs> oh excuse me aren't very good <coughs> so here we go looks good i i've got my beautiful assistant behind the camera because this cake is crumbly i cannot cut it for the life of me and i'm gonna have to get my two hands in it's really, I don't like the taste of it. Blech. It's too coconutty, but it's not for me, it's for the dogs. I can't do this. Wait a minute. This is really hard. Parsnip. This is your birthday cake. You gonna sit nice? You'll get a bit too stuck. Just give me a minute. Sit nice. Sit nice. Oh, just chew it. Please chew it. Do you like it? I think she likes it. Oh, are you having that bit? <laughs> Look, eat the crumbs. Eat the crumbs. Eat the crumbs. Right, I'll get you another wee bit start because that was actually parsnips bit you just ate. <laughs> they seem to like it though, so that's a good thing. So, happy 11th birthday, parsnip. <laughs> 